now listen fatherhood is not a joke you won't understand the experience when you see a product that came from you and you hold the baby and look at the baby and it's from you from that day your life changes whether as a mother or as a father but I want to tell you that fatherhood is not about giving birth to a child it's about being in the life of the child being available see there is a generation we are raising and we are that generation that will correct the errors of the past for us what our parents owe us is to give birth to us but for our children we owe them more than that no you didn't get what I said I said something very strong for us what our parents owe us is to give birth to us but for our own children we owe them more than that I told you people last week when I was teaching I said that it was in Asaba that I saw people get admission and their parents are not there to pay their school fees and they don't go to school not because they're not intelligent enough or they're not willing enough but because there is no available support structure from the family to see them through I was shocked when I came to Asaba to see that please reduce I was shocked to see it in Asaba and I started this is part of the passion that made me to start running a, a whatsapp um, platform for young men below um, um, between 20 and 40 and anybody in that platform will discover that I talk a lot on family because I believe that everything in life is tied to family let me shock you when God created the world he didn't create the pastor first man he created was a husband and in that man he also created a father father means progenitor father means source father means root father means pillar father means foundation so out of you comes beyond just the children also everything that follows that lineage comes from you your choices affect your children so we have to make up our minds to become better fathers I will never give birth to a child that I will not be able to train. That I will not be responsible enough to be available. That thing has caused a lot of chaos. In my, in my um, study about mentorship, my Smoro did a research or also made a reference to a research done by Time Magazine that they went to prison in America to investigate what was the root cause why all the people are in prison. And they discovered a shocking revelation that 90% of prisoners had either absentee father or no father. No father means the mother got pregnant and doesn't know who, who was the father. Absentee father means he was there and disappeared and never took responsibility. I want to talk to every lady here. If tomorrow, which I don't pray for you, you have a child out of wedlock, you have a broken marriage god forbid it's not your portion but i'm just advising you for the future or something happens you're a widower or a widow sorry widow not widower now listen don't ever raise your children without a father figure no matter how strong you are as a woman you won't take the place of a father that is why God had a substitute called pastors. Pastors are after plan of God to cover up for the mistakes of fathers. Because when God created, he didn't create father, uh, pastors. He created father. That is one thing Jesus came to do. The revelation Jesus came to do. That's why every time they asked him, he said, I am the son of man. So he came to reveal God as a father. Because there was confusion in the religious body that time. They saw God as one man up there holding hammer looking for who to break his head when he sins but he came to reveal to them there is a man up there not a man there is a being up there who also has a father heart that is why when he taught us to pray say when you pray say our father where in heaven so that means you also have a father in heaven and that is one of the strongest revelations jesus brought and that's why he called himself son so in case you're here you also have a empty father one know that there is a father in heaven two get a physical father a fatherless generation is a cost generation a fatherless young lady is, a, is, a, is going to live not that she's cost but she will live as if she's cost you need direction you need protection 
fathers are providers. Don't be a father and sit at home. And hunger is dealing with your children. And you don't know what to do. Man, stand up and get out of the house. Look for what to do. If it's to go and bring out your blood, then price your blood and sell it, go and sell it. Go and level, get your hands dirty. Today is Father's Day. I don't know why I'm also punching this again. I've said this before. It's now like deja vu. Get your hands dirty. Ladies, in choosing a husband, don't only be looking at him as a lover. Also look at him. Can this one father my children? Can this one give direction? This one that can stay in depression for six months and not come out of it. This one that cannot accept no. I tell him no. He start crying. After crying, he keeps crying for one year. Oh yeah, this bele bele. Oga will call you a father. Fathers have shock absorber to absorb shock. You make a mistake. You stand up. You redress it, and you move on. You know why? It's not just about you. It's about those following you. you because very soon you'll be an ancestor. If you are blessed, clap your hands and celebrate Jesus.